Okay, so now I want to spend a little bit of time looking at uh, these three interfaces. First we have Vanguard, second Albino, and third Zebra. The reason that I want to do this is to demonstrate that uh, all virtual analogs are essentially the same thing. They have a bunch of three or four different types of modules that connect together in very similar ways. And uh, by comparing these three, you should be able to see the similarities. And hopefully after this, you should be able to approach any virtual analog or analog for that matter, uh, hardware or software, and be able to find your way around it. Uh, because they all consist of oscillators, filter, envelopes. So what I want to do is look at uh, where we find the filters uh, in each of the three and where we find the envelopes and what type of envelopes they are. So first of all, let's have a look at Vanguard. And as you can see, um, here is the filter section. And here is where we choose the filters. Now, every virtual analog these days uh, even uh, has a multi-mode filter. And in days of yore, <laughs> we're, uh, only the most expensive analog uh, synths would have multi-mode filters, like the, Ju the Jupiter 8 and uh, various other ones, Oberheims. Um, but now even the cheapest VST has got multi-mode filters, which is fantastic. Um, so here you'll find low-pass filter, low-pass filter again, yet another low-pass filter. These are different slopes, by the way, they've got different sounds. Uh, the smaller the number um, of dB filtration per octave, that is, that means it, 6 dB means it, it filters 6 dB per octave. And uh, if you think in terms of hertz, 100 hertz to 200 hertz is one octave. 200 cycles per second, that is. 100 to 200 is one octave. 200 to 400 is an octave. 400 to 800 is an octave. So what it means is it's reducing those free. If you had the cutoff point at 100, then at 200 cycles, it would be 6 dB down. At 400 cycles, it would be 12 dB down. So you can see that a 12 dB per octave filter is a steeper slope. And uh, 24 is a very steep slope. And so the point is they give different sounds. Uh, OK, so carrying on, we have a high pass filter, 6 dB per octave, 24 dB per octave high filter. And then you have band pass, 24 dB. And then you have all kinds of uh, different little exotic filters like X and M and band plus shaper and all that kind of stuff. OK, so moving quickly on, let's have a look at uh, Albino. Now, with Albino, this is the filter section here, and you'll find low pass, high pass, band pass, and notch filter. And not only that, you'll find 12 or 24 dB flavors of them. Um, that's where you find that. Now, moving on, let's have a look at Zebra. Zebra, this is the filter module here, and with the Zebra, you go here to change the filter type. So you have a 12 dB low pass, 6 dB. And these, rather than D by dB, these are uh, different filter um, models. So you have a vintage one, which is quite grungy and particularly good for doing bass lines, by the way. Nice and twangy. Um, and then you have a mid drive one, and this one really screams. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, and then you have your band pass and your high pass and various other exotic ones down there. OK, so that's where you find the filters on each of those. Also, each one has a saturation for the filter section. And on Vanguard, you'll find it here. Filter drive. Uh, let's turn that one off. OK. Um, Screen there. <laughs> um, so that's the drive there, that's distortion, internal distortion. Uh, of Combined with high resonance, that, that can work really, really nicely. Okay, so where's the distortion or the filter overdrive on Albino? Well, it's here. 
sat saturation. And it has different flavours. Oh, one, two, three, and four here. Moving on to Zebra. Um, the distortion or filter saturation is built into the filter module. So there it is here. And each one has a different saturation model. This is the vintage one. Well. It turns a square wave into a, saw, into a turns a saw wave into a square wave. So that's where you'll find the filter saturation units in each of those three. Now, let's have a look, quick look at envelopes before. Uh, <laughs> before we conclude with this, because I know this is a little bit dull, this section, but if you don't know about uh, analog or style subtractive synthesis, you won't understand the other stuff that I'm going to be babbling about later. So it's good to, uh, if, if you don't know this stuff, go through this stuff and understand it. Okay, so here we have an ADSR, uh, which is for the amplitude at the top. Let me demonstrate. That's a slow attack now. now. And now the bottom one is the filter envelope, and this is the filter envelope depth. It's labelled cutoff. Here. You can hear. So it just has basic ADSRs, two of them, in Vanguard, which is very well specified by normal standards the normal hardware standards okay and here a albino your envelope is amplitude envelope is here you switch this button and filter envelope is here filter one you also have an auxiliary filter two envelope for the second filter should you switch it on and use it and looking now at uh, zebra um on the right hand side are where the envelopes live. So envelope one is amplitude envelope and envelope two is for, it's actually assignable to pretty much anything, uh, but uh, most of the time I assign it to filter. It's uh, a bit more sophisticated than the other two ADSRs. Um, it has a sustain, uh, a fall and rise thing, as does Albino actually, but also has some, uh, initial set uh, so you can set the initial level of the signal coming in and some other exotic functions here which are um, far too geeky to go into at this point um, oh and it has a very variable slope here as well and some other uh, settings here okay so that uh, concludes our comparison between those three now if you were to come across a let's say a hardware synth a Roland JP8000. It has the same stuff. Filter section, os sorry, oscillator, into filter, multi-mode filter, into envelopes. And you should be able to find your way around it. Well, hopefully anyway. <laughs> hopefully we should move on to the more interesting stuff very soon.